Arda, please come up, the, come up to the stage. Okay, so it's time for another question and answer portion. Portion, it's like a beauty contest. There <laughs> That's you what go. I'm used to hosting. All right, so uh, if you guys have any questions, please do feel free to stand up. Yes, we have a question here. Please introduce yourself. They'll get it. Hang on. <laughs> yes, I got to run. Okay. Um, good morning. My name is Alexa. And I would just like to ask, um, address to Secretary Siring and Senator Legarda. Um, you've mentioned already in, the, in your preview, in your slides, about the effects of, of climate change in terms of health. For 2012 alone, are there any other updates that you can mention about the effects of climate change in terms of health, in the health sector? Uh, well, uh, Senator Legardo mentioned about the increase in illnesses. In fact, one of the things that we've um, seen also, that there's now reported cases of dengue even in summer. So, Sinasabi ko, buti pa ang lamok na kapag adapt na ang tao, hindi pa. <laughs> Pero isa yan. isa yan. So really, when the survey came out, we had a World Bank Commission survey this year to see where we should be uh, working on in terms of awareness. Uh, eight out of ten said they've been affected by climate change, but 63% said they're not doing anything about it. And then of all those who were interviewed, 90% of them said that their biggest concern is health. So I guess because when there's an event like a typhoon, it doesn't end there. After that, hindi natin nakikita yung mga dengue. Uh, you don't want to die of leptospirosis, malaria. So those are the case, uh, mga stories na hindi pa nakahighlight. Ang lagi lang talagang medyong nagtitrigger ng so much emotion are those um, uh, are people in the streets that... Uh, that you know are dead. So hopefully, um, nagkaroon pa ng more awareness at least on the part of uh, health issues. Yes, I think that it's uh, a challenge to be able to connect climate change and health because health is really a very gut issue. But when we speak about climate change, di ba? Sa sobrang tag-init, heat stroke. Hanggang ang mga magsasaka sa region 2. At saka, I wish I could show you more photos of scorched earth, of dried cornfields that I went to in Cagayan and dried scorched earth in Barotac uh, Viejo or Nuevo in Iloilo years ago na ang mga magsasaka ay sinasabi uh, talagang ito ang epekto ng climate change. Pero maliban doon, meron silang kwento na mga kasamahan nila na nahihimatay daw. Hindi nila alam, siguro, na dahil sa sobrang init, na he heat stroke. Apart from that, yes, the increasing number of dengue cases. Dati season na lang ang dengue ngayon, all year round, nangyayari ang dengue. In fact, uh, unfortunately, my son had dengue. Seven days we were in the hospital and I was so scared because um, dumaki na ako ng ganito, tumanda ng ganito, awa ng Diyos, siguro resistant ako sa dengue dahil I was born in flood-prone Malabon. Eh, baka anak ko hindi sanay, no? So, pati anak ko na dengue. So, increasing uh, dengue cases, uh, heat stroke during the hot, dry uh, summer months and the warming uh, temperatures. When we connect climate change with health, I believe that that is where people will act more and to engage on the issue. Simple lang eh. Kung malinis tayo sa ating kapaligiran, maski ganong, hindi makalangan na nakatira ka sa subdivision eh. Maski sa barangay mo, mag-segregate lang ng garbage at source. Basura na lang. Ihiwalay natin yung nabubulok at hindi nabubulok. Tapos yung mga nangangailangan sabi nila, ibenta yung plastic lata at bote. O di may pang sigarilyo na si Mister, di may pambili na ng cooking oil si Mrs. O sigarilyo nga, hindi, anti-smoking oil. Joke lang. Ibig ko sabihin, <laughs> anti-smoking. It, it's just a joke kasi nga parang may pambili ng tandway si Mister o sige na nga at saka pambili si Grillo. No, no. Uh, it's bad habits. Those are vices. I shouldn't have... Okay, erase, erase, erase. The bloggers, ha? Erase. No, it, it's just I'm being... Di ba sabi nila, sige, sige, benta nyo yung bote, lata, plastic at meron na kayong pang allowance nyo ng konti. Um, what I'm saying is that then it will uh, make it a uh, make it a cleaner environment Actually, simply. Bakit hindi kayang gawin ng bawat household yun? 
Tapos, uh, yung mga esteros at canals na marurumi. Nung nangyari yung sa Marikina, I forgot the area, yung Chuchi Foundation, sinong staff ko nandito? Anong lugar sa Marikina? Yun, mababa pinakamalugar na, na ano sa Marikina, na lugar sa Marikina. The Chuchi Foundation of Taiwan uh, were actually cleaning the esteros on their own. If a foreign fo foreign based foundation can do that, perhaps we can do it. All barangays, all LGUs, the DRR officers perhaps no can be assigned along with the Penro, the Senro. Okay, so there are many things that can be done uh, that can connect it to health. I mentioned about Malino. I I, I mentioned about cigarillo, which is bad for the health. You, you erased it already. I erased it. <laughs> so kung bagas sa television. Uh, Ano yon? Erase, erase, edit out. Maling example. Kasi I'm the author of the anti-smoking law. <laughs> no, kasi it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. No, it's a private joke. O oh, sige ho, yun na, ibenta na nyo yun. Di may pang bisyo na kayo. Ganun, that's the way they talk in the, sa kanto. Means I am too casual and... <laughs> Thank you, lady. Thank you very much. Uh, we very have room information. for one last question over there. Yeah. Good morning. I'm Gladstone from the Sal. Uh, my question is for both the ladies. Mom, how can you comment on the critique about climate change wherein uh, it is promoted by uh, northern countries? One of the things that we should also remember is who holds the technology in order for us to be able to adapt and to lessen our carbon footprints. That's where some of the criticisms comes from. Uh, that's why I'm very, I try to study every, everything I can. Because we don't know if there's an invisible hand that's going around here. Because if you said you're right, if we push for a green economy, and we're talking about technology base, whose technology are we talking about? That's why when I mentioned in my talk, I said, Let's look at these opportunities because there's a lot of skills here. Uh, we have a lot of these materials. If we can do this sustainably and using our own materials, then it can create a lot of jobs. That's why we're careful and even in our negotiations uh, internationally, one of the things we push for in terms of a position in the Philippines together with other developing countries is on technology transfer. We don't want, we know that it is not our fault that these emissions are growing, right? But at the same time, they give us money, they lend us money so that we can buy their technology. What we're fighting in negotiations, if you want to do technology, show us a transfer that will ease access to credit by the poor, at the same time allow us to have this technology develop in our own country and keep the cost lower so that everybody can use it. Rest assured, we're very uh, uh, serious in our negotiations. We're very careful of this discussion and uh, me, as the lead of the delegation of the Philippines, to, we're going to Warsaw, Poland again this November po, to, to go again and discuss this. And we hope that uh, we can really uh, show our force in terms of voice. The Philippines is all over these committees. Uh, Governor Joey Salceda of Albay is now our member on the Green Climate Fund. Uh, my colleague, uh, Commissioner Yab Sanyo, is a co-chair of a long-term finance. Even our own Filipino negotiators, I think because of, uh, of our command in English, allows us to negotiate in behalf of other Southeast Asian countries. And we're very careful of this, and you're right. But if we're going to go green, it's because it's not on their terms, but ours. Just a follow-up, ma'am. Is, is government also funding development of local technologies that are supposed to be green? There's a lot, Department of Science and Technology, but I think one very rich resource would be the academe. The reason why we finished the map in record six months is because we engaged Xavier University of Cagayan de Oro, we brought in UP NIGS of uh, UP Diliman, we got in MSU IIT of Iligan, so that they would now, because I feel that we should not be relying all the time in Imperial Manila, we've been accused of that. So this is where uh, the academy can come in, and there's a lot of uh, studies there, unfortunately, are not being scaled up. Uh, and if you know anything, uh, we'll be glad to know them, and so that we can continue to promote it, with the help, of course, of Senator Laureate. You'd be surprised, uh, thank you, Lucille, for that. You'd be surprised, sometimes we don't need 
uh, very expensive or complicated technology. You talk to Tony Oposa, he'll tell you how the rainwater catchment uh, works, uh, how he did it in his backyard in the lot beside his home. You know, there's a 1989 law on the rainwater catchment basin which should have been implemented since then by the DPWH, which, you know, hearing I asked, are you doing this? And they said, ha, may batas bang ganun? Uh, you'd be surprised. Maliliit na simple. Pangalawa, ang DOST uh, ay uh, maraming sinasaliksit at maraming na iimbento ng mga simpleng teknolohiya uh, na, na, na ginagamit na natin. Siguro one time, maybe the DOST can present to you because I spoke during their Science and Technology Week, nandun lahat ng mga inventors, nakakatuwa. At yung kanila naman paggamit ng mga mapa, if there is the MGB, Mines and Geosciences Bureau of the DNR, meron naman DOST, yung kanyang LIDAR, LIDAR mapping, maybe you can, exp I'm not a te technical expert, but they showed me how they were able to map, let's say, Region 10, Cagayan de Oro, and they know, pag ganitong kalakas ang ulan, ay ganitong lugar ang babaha sa CDO, Misamis Oriental, at ibang parte ng Region 10. Mm -mm. I think they ano, call it exposure. Exposure, uh, exposure, exposure database or building. Mm -mm. Uh, Secretary Montejo explained that to me. I forget the name of the other technical people with him. And then, now, we, in Ondoy, we did not have the Doppler radars, hindi ba? or limited. I don't know how many we added since 2009, but a government has installed more Doppler radars to measure the amount of rainfall. Kaya ngayon, mas na may measure na ang amount of rainfall at ang DOST pag-asa rin, mas madalas ang kanilang pag-update sa mga darating na bagyo. And they can already project, I think, a typhoon coming 7 to 10 days before. Kaya sinabi ko nga, if the projection is 7 to 10 days before it comes, and we already know the areas which will be flooded historically. We already know the urban settlers, illegal settlers, which uh, in vulnerable areas na dapat estero, tinayo ng bahay, pinatituluhan, o maski walang tito nun, nandun sila, uh, dapat ilikas na ng lokal na pamahalaan forcibly dahil mamamatay sila or maapektuhan pag sila'y nandun. So kayang gawin kasi enough na yung warning eh. Kailangan lang ilikas na at uh, maghanda na tayo pagdarating yun. Kaya, bagamat wala tayong maraming pera para sa teknolohiyang napakamahal, it's ano lang eh, simple, traditional best practices ang ating maaring leksyon eh. Sumbong ko na lang, ma'am. Bumaba ang budget ng, pag ng DOST this year. <laughs> Pakiting na na lang. <laughs> May witness ako. <laughs> Bumaba rin ang budget ng OCD. Kami rin. <laughs> A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not complaining, Donna. Magkano yung budget nyo? Wag na, ma'am. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much, Thank ladies. you. Thank you. Many thanks, Senator Legarda, Secretary Sering. And for someone who says she's not used to making people laugh, I'd say that Senator uh, Lauren Legarda, she did a, a very